Uh, I know you've got a bunch of war stories. Tell me about a couple of the biggest challenges you've had in the legal ops role. So one of the biggest things is just getting the buy-in to see the value of what you're doing. Like, here's how it used to work. You have a large company, they hire a lot of law firms to represent them, and every law firm has their own LSPs or vendors that they hire to do e-discovery. So what happens is you now have hundreds of different ways that you do an e-discovery for very similar types of cases. And, and it's okay, that's comfortable, right? It's reactionary, we're getting the job done, we're not hitting any sanctions, why mess with that? When you start to get your arms around spend, then you can start to make a case use for bringing things in house, centralization and kind of consolidation, right? So for me, my first move at Balfour Beatty was bringing in a matter management tool or an ELM and then pushing us to 100% e-billing using outside guidelines and mandating things like on e-discovery, L600 task codes in the UTB so that we could get a, a, an exact measure of what we're spending on processing, on hosting, on PM time, on analytics. And when you looked at that across the life of all of our US litigation, we were bleeding money. So then you can take that and say, look, we're spending X amount of dollars on all these different things and we're not being able to capture institutional knowledge and leveraging the same documents over and over again. Here's what a tool bringing in-house would cost. It's a fifth of that. <laughs> Right? There's your cost savings, and it's also going to allow us to leverage things case to case and have a central repository and work with fewer vendors that, that can give us the benefit of a negotiated rate. Mm -hmm. And all those kind of things come together, right? But we couldn't get to there without the operations, without understanding the need, without understanding where we're deficient. And a hard part of legal ops is you're often so busy dealing with fires you don't have the space blocked out to innovate, to actually brainstorm and think, because you're so busy doing work. That's why you need to understand your legal team, how to leverage your paralegals, delegate tasks to them, things like legal holds, things like e-discovery collections and interviews, and all those different types of processes. And then that frees you up to do the higher level work of figuring out where you can add value to the company.